Hi guys, Genevieve Lyons here from Lyons Property Mentoring. Now this week I quickly wanted to touch on the concept of property investment scams. So your property investment scams are going to be everywhere, okay? Even though this issue has been highlighted by the media and even ASIC and the ACCC, it's not always easy for ordinary investors to distinguish between what's a good deal and what's a true deal. Knowing how to avoid making costly mistakes in property investing is just as important as learning the strategies for creating and accumulating wealth. Now, the unfortunate truth is that there are so many products out there that are commission-based and that they're looking, these companies are just looking to flog as many properties as possible onto the unsuspecting Australian investors and they're often taking shortcuts without the slightest duty of care. So the best way to stop their schemes is not to fall for them in the first place and know what to look for. Far too many people seem to think that property investing is way too difficult for them to do by themselves. And so, they flock to property investing seminars in an attempt to educate themselves a little bit more about what their options are. It's wise to remind yourself that if something sounds too good to be true, it probably is. If there were really massive discounts to be had on dream properties, why are you only hearing about it from a pamphlet in your letterbox? Or even a cold call from a telemarketer at 8 o'clock at night? The only way to experience major success in any type of investment is to do the hard yards. So while you're buying property through traditional channels, you consult with lots of different people and get their professional advice. You might see a real estate agent, your mentor, your lawyer, a lender, your accountant. So don't let any one person or company pressure you into making decisions about money or investments. I suggest that if you do attend property investment seminars, do it to build your knowledge. They can be a great means for that. But don't commit to anything until you've gotten out of that environment and seeked a second opinion. Happy investing.